In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a list and send a message automatically and I'm going to use an autoresponder called Aweber which is really good for newbies if you're a new person to building your business online or if you're an expert. I'm going to show you a very easy way of doing it step by step. My name is Adam Shelton and welcome to the video today. And in this video, we're going to dive into the content of showing you how to create a list and send a message to your subscriber really, really easy. So if this is your first time here, like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell notification when I do videos just like this. Let's go ahead and dive into this content. As you see here, I'm already looking at Aweber, and right below this video, I do have a 14-day free trial for you can go ahead and use this powerful autoresponder email marketing autoresponder called Aweber and you can start it out for the 14 day free trial because I know you like things for free and we all do so a free trial would definitely help you out today if you do not have a autoresponder or if you have autoresponder right now and you're not comfortable to using come on over to Aweber we'll definitely help you out so I'm gonna go ahead and log into Aweber right now because I already have an account with Aweber, so I'm going to show you what it looks like when you're already set up with Aweber. As you see here, it's a dashboard setting that you're seeing here on Aweber, and it shows you your basically your overall stats, your overall active subscribers of 4,189. Now, when you log in, your stats will be zero, especially if you just started out. You won't necessarily have any stats. I want to show you what it looks like when you go ahead and log in, even with stats or without stats. So I had two people added in today, and I also have two people unsubscribed. Now, you don't want to be discouraged when people unsubscribe to your list because you are a list creator. You always should be adding people every single day to your list because some people may unsubscribe, but then again, you always think about the people that's coming to your list that you're sending value to. It doesn't matter if you're a chef, it doesn't matter if you're a social media branding expert, a coach, a content creator, it doesn't matter if you have any of those at all, building your list is so important and don't worry about the unsubscribe as well. Now right now it also shows me my scheduled broadcast which make it really cool because you can actually schedule emails in advance to your subscribe list which is powerful. And those messages can be anything. It can be anything that you're sending them out to them. My sent broadcast, and here's my list stats. So it gives you a basic overview in terms of what is on your dashboard and what kind of value you need to be creating. Now, right now, I'm going to show you how to create a list and send an automatic message to that list. So we're going to go ahead and go to manage list step by step. And the next thing we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to create a list. Now, this list, I'm going to name it specifically targeted list because all these people that's coming onto this list is coming from a certain area. So right now, the company name, I'm going to leave it my name. You could put whatever company name of your company, you put it right here. Your website, if you have a website, you put that right there. If you don't have a website, do not worry about it at all. So I'm going to put a website right now. So right there. Now, it says what address you like to be included at the bottom of your emails. You can have your address or another address. So if you want them to see a different address, you can go ahead and do that as well. So I'm going to use that address for this, for this training. It says what sender name and email address should appear with your emails. Now, you can put your name in there. You can put an admin information. I'm just going to just put my actually name for this. I'm going to just put my first name down here just for tutorial. Now, I've used admin. I've used information. I've used different things like that. But that's what sender name will show up when you're sending the information out to your subscribers. Now, sender email, what email do they see in terms of sending it out? I'm going to use info at adameshelton.com. Just want to be a little different in terms of sending my emails out. You can use your own email address as well. And remember, you must use your own domain email address. This will not work on Yahoo, Gmail. You must create and have your own domain email address or it will not work. Aweber only accept that. So just to let you know that right now. 
And then you can also add a new sender email address by clicking here and adding an email address there. But remember, your own domain email address. So next step, I'm gonna go here and set up my social media. I'm gonna put uh, Facebook, Facebook list. So basically, I'm gonna name this list social media Facebook list because all my subscribers is gonna come from Facebook and I wanna be very specific exactly what this list is and what type of value I'm gonna to give to my subscribers. Absolutely, which leads us to the next information here is that describe the emails your subscribers are going to list. Describe the email, so what type of value you're gonna to send to your subscribers. I'm gonna say up video content on how to make money online. So basically that's what they're gonna see. It says your subscriber will see this description. So they're gonna see that description in terms of when they should subscribe to it. And it says, where is the information? It tells you exactly where the information is gonna be at. I really like Aweber because it really very specifically tells you exactly what information is gonna be at. Your subscribers will see that on there when you send them that email address. But you wanna be very specifically in terms of what type of value you're sending to them. So I'm basically saying, hey, I'm gonna send you up-to-date video content on how to make money online, or I can say, media content, up-to-date social media content on how to make money online. So right there, that's gonna be it. And the next step, I'm using this, I'm basically gonna leave this the same. I'm not gonna change the language, I'm not gonna change the subject line or the preview. So I pretty much leave this pretty much default because it's pretty much in a default message that they sent to them and I'm gonna leave that there. But you can change your language, you can change your subject line if you wish if you want something more specific. So you can do that. I'm just gonna leave that blank for now and approve the message. So now I've already created a list. You see that right now? Active list, social media, Facebook list. That's the list that we just created. So that's the first part of this whole equation of creating a list. Now, if you need to edit that list, sometimes when you create something, you need to make a quick change. You go to list options and then list settings. You can change that right here. And then this is the list that we just created. You can change the name, the description. You can change the name if you need to, actually your from name and the from address. You can do that right here. Um, you also can change your addresses here and your notification. I love the notification because you can have more than one email address. When people subscribe to this list, another email address can actually get the notification information. So if you have a business partner and they want to know who's being subscribed to a certain list at a certain time, they can actually get notified through their email just by adding in their email. So you can just say, I just put this email address and I could say, you know, Alan. And then basically what's going to happen is anytime somebody subscribed to this list, they will be notified through email when someone is being subscribed. So save all settings. And that's really it. It's pretty, pretty, very, very, very simple. Uh, I wanted to do this. So step by step. So we create the list by manage list. And then when the list settings, if we want to go ahead and change any settings that we've done as well and personalize your list and confirmation message, it's the same exact thing that we just went ahead and do. You can confirm, change your confirm information right here and also personalize your list. You can change that right here in terms of the company details. So we've done that twice. The second thing in the equation here, we wanna add subscribers. Let's say, you know what? I wanna add subscribers that we just created the list from. So the next thing we wanna go ahead and do is call add subscriber. And then we wanna add subscriber and let's say we just wanna add one at a time. So if we wanna add a subscriber, we do, we're do. we just talking to somebody on Facebook and we wanna add them to our list, you can actually manually do this by adding this. You can say Sanders Thomas. Let's say that was the person's name and his email is thomas at gmail.com. And we wanna go ahead and track this information. This is really cool because it definitely labels where the how they signed up for your list. So you can kind of put in when or when did you talk to them? How did they basically get connected with them? 
So I'm gonna put Facebook Messenger. So that's gonna be the tracking information I'm gonna leave there. The tags is really good for like campaigns. So if we were like setting up um, a campaign and we wanna use a specific tag, you can do that. A campaign is pretty much, pretty much a email campaign. So if you're just sending out information for that. So we're gonna leave that blank for now and we're gonna go add subscriber. So right now we just added the person in and it's all good because the person just got subscribed. So we go to here, let's see, he added. And then let's go and go to manage subscriber and I'll show you where that's at. Go to manage subscriber and this is the person that we went ahead and add, Sanders Thomas, thomasgmail.com. And you can see his stats right here. Look at the tracking information that we added there, the date and the time, the um, also ish the location. The location is your location of where you set up your settings at, your IP address, and also more information where and when this person was subscribed to. Now, you probably wonder why is this confirmation pending? It says confirmation pending because it's set up to have double opt in, which basically Thomas has to accept the confirmation before he actually receives emails from us. Now, you can go here and go to help. If you need to talk to somebody by customer service to get that to get that change, if you want that get that change, you can actually go to help and talk to customer service 24/7. You can chat with them or call them to actually get that confirmation pending removed as well. They tell you the steps that you need to do, but I want you to worry about adding subscribers to your list and that's going to help get that off anyways when you talk to them. So, worry about adding subscribers and sending them value instead of that because that's pretty much going to help you get that off as well if you want it off you may not want it off some people want to keep that you know that confirmation email to their subscribers on some people want it off so it really depends so now we've got somebody on our list and we have thomas that's how you would add somebody there now if you want to add like multiple people there you can go to import multiple and you can actually add them in two ways, two ways. You can you can actually paste their e email addresses in here. So if you had so many email addresses in here, like let's say you had gmail.com and if you have yahoo.com, you can type them in or you can copy and paste them right into that box there. Or you can actually, if you have a file that has a list of email addresses on one column, you can import them right here by uploading your file right there. So two ways, you can either copy and paste it, or if you have a file already, a CSV file, an XLS file, if you have, I would just concentrate just on the email addresses in one column, import them right there, and you can go ahead and follow the next step that says map field. So go through each one of these steps here. It's really easy to follow, so I just wanted to show you that as well. So now, we done the list, we add a subscriber. The next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is create a simple message. We can create a simple message by create message right at the top and then plain text. So we'll do a plain text message. This would just be a basic message. So it starts with the subject line. You can say, welcome. So let's say this is a welcome email. Now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, create message. I wanna show you something here. This is what I'm gonna go ahead and do. You can do a message from the beginning, or you can do something like this. What I just went with there, there is something very simple. So I can say, welcome. And then they automatically have this in here, hi. And then they also have where it's personalized their first name. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this blank and I'll just say, to your success. Adam. So they leave this in here. This is kind of a basic message that the Aweber have this for you, and you can change your text. It says, "Thank you for being a loyal email subscriber. We appreciate hearing from you. Let us know if you ever have any questions." So I'm gonna leave this blank. I'm gonna leave this the same because I just want to show you what you will do next. So let's say I just wanted to keep this here, and I just kept here to your success, Adam Shelton. Welcome. I just said welcome. That would be the subject line. And I also can personalize that as well if I needed to, you know, by personalize and I can go for their first name, email address. But I'll leave that blank as well. So you can preview it. 
that's what it looks like when you send it to them and we're going to go ahead and save and exit the next thing we want to go ahead and do is schedule it so this is this cool so this is the current list that we created it's after subscribers it says when should this message be sent so let's say we want this message to be sent tomorrow at 9 a.m look at that see that i'm gonna do this tomorrow 9 a.m i'm gonna use eastern standard time you can change that if you if you like based on where you are and we're gonna do it tomorrow at 9 a.m so look at that apply apply see look at that wednesday september 30th 2020 at 9 a.m this is going to be sent out to them and we don't have any tax automation tag automation because we are keeping this very very simple of this email marketing tutorial for you and look at this schedule the message and then that's it now your message look at this schedule the welcome email after subscribers and is also set up to be scheduled at this time i can use this as a draft i can send a test it's really really cool so it's really this is all ready to go it's all scheduled and ready to go to that person that we just added to them that person would go ahead and get set up really really correctly so it's really simple to go ahead and do you can add people into your autoresponder which is really really cool to do i'll do a little bit more you know training and testing in terms of more things with aweber but i wanted to show you how you create a list by manage list here's a help desk pretty much you can send information or you can talk to customer service with aweber with the help option then we add the subscribers and then we send a message which is basically from we actually can do it from here but we did it from actually here and it says create message we did it from right there so I wanted to be very, very specifically how to do that. So go ahead and check out the free trial right below this video, a 14 day free trial with Aweber Autoresponder. If you have any questions, you can put it in the comment right below this video. And don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already, but don't forget to hit your 14 day free trial. I don't know how long this will be going on. So you definitely want to take advantage of it today. Build your list, create some messages, and go ahead and send value out to your subscribers. My name is Adam Shelton. Thank you so much for watching this video, this email marketing tutorial of Aweber, step-by-step, -step, easy for you to understand. I'll see you on the next video.